News 4 Tucson at 7. And I'm Monica Garcia. So tonight we are learning more about a federal lawsuit against Santa Cruz County seeking damages for the death of a Rio Rico man killed by a deputy last year. News 4 Tucson's chief investigative reporter, of course, Nylander, looks further into this lawsuit. He joins us live outside of the sheriff's office in Nogales. Chorus. Sean, good evening. This is that lawsuit filed in federal court by the family of David Ramon Hernandez, who was shot and killed by a Santa Cruz County deputy last year. The family is claiming wrongful death, and at the center of all of this is the department's lack of body cameras, but that could soon be changing. Lethal use of force was unjustified. That's the opinion of attorney Charles Slack Mendez, who is representing the family of David Ramon Hernandez, who was shot and killed near this corner in Rio Rico last October after an encounter with a Santa Cruz County deputy. This death really should have never occurred. The use of a weapon should have never been used. There were other options available. Hernandez, a locally renowned mariachi performer, interacted with the deputy after the deputy claims he approached their parked SUV with some sort of objects in his hands. The deputy says they soon realized he was holding three large knives and acting erratically and ignoring the deputy's commands to drop the weapons, responding by telling him to, quote, shoot me if you have to. According to the deputy, Hernandez approached an apartment door after saying someone was going to get what's coming to them. As Hernandez raised a knife in the deputy's direction, they fired three times, killing him. The deputy says they didn't use a taser because they feared it would be ineffective. Santa Cruz uh, County Sheriff deputies need to be better trained. County Attorney George Silva reviewed the case. In April, he determined the shooting was justified, but that's based largely on the deputy's account and another eyewitness, because the sheriff's office doesn't have body cameras. The sheriff's office has just requested $105,000 in next year's budget to get body cameras. Allows the officers to know that there's always going to be the ability to review their, their actions. Sheriff David Hathaway wouldn't comment on the pending litigation, but said body cameras would help clear up he said, she said reports. It would be good for on that incident and every other incident that we've been involved in. I think with body cameras, it will make officers rethink their actions because it's all going to be visible. And in the Hernandez family's initial notice of claim, which is the first step before they uh, were able to file this lawsuit, they were seeking $15 million in damages. In this case, it's going to be up to a jury to decide if any damages are warranted, and if so, how much. We'll keep you updated on this lawsuit and the department's efforts at getting body cameras. We're live tonight from the Santa Cruz County, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson. All right, Cora, thank you for the latest on that lawsuit. Right now we have